Welcome back, everybody. This is the third part of our new skill trees that just got added. Uh, my name is All Fun Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun videos here on YouTube. This skill tree looks crazy. We already have seen the Wolfgang one and the Woody one, and now we're on to Wormwood. I don't know what the heck this is in store for, but it looks like you have a path that leads to certain things. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, by the way, we obviously know that every character is most likely going to have a skill tree. The Wilson was the start of it, so that was kind of like a look into the future. So good on you, Clay, for listening, uh, because obviously we've already mentioned this millions of times that, you know, when Wilson came out, we kind of realized that skill trees are probably going to become standardized, and sure enough, they are. So meaning that if you have a favorite character, your character is most likely going to get a skill tree. Well, in fact, they will get a skill tree. I mean, hopefully Wes gets one. I don't know. Maybe they'll skip over Wes, but I highly doubt it. Here we go with this Wormwood buff, aka skill tree. Okay. Uh, tap into your lunar roots to transform light bulbs into bulbous light bugs. Okay, that's actually really cool. Uh, tap into your lunar roots to transform dragon fruit into salamanders. Oh my gosh, we. That's so. <laughs> Okay, that's actually pretty crazy. Tap into your lunar roots to transform carrots into carrots. Okay, this is really cool. I had a friend actually mentioning how they would love to see more salamanders. So now that you can bring them um, outside of the areas of their norm, it's pretty sweet. Uh, where would your heads get in the way? Uh, produce flower petals well in full bloom. Really cool. Uh, stay in full bloom longer. Obviously amazing. Reach full bloom much quicker. Awesome. Reach full bloom a bit quicker. Okay. What? Re reach full bloom much quicker. Reach full bloom a bit quicker. I think these two have to be... Re stay in full bloom long. Wait, I don't know what that means. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Maybe this one connects over here. Oh, I, th I see. This one goes over this way. Oh, I'm reading this backwards. Sorry. Uh, fruit flies will be drawn to you instead of the farm plants. The Lord of the Flies is most likely to appear. Uh, Ten farm plants within a fast range while full bloom. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, killer bees won't leave their hives or attack unless provoked. Ooh, okay. Uh, tend farm plants. Uh, tend, far tend farm plants within an even larger full. I like that a lot. Not that I really do much with wormwood, but tend farm plants within a large range, well full bloom, and then learn to identify seeds that have just been planted to determine what they will grow into. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, gain increased protection from overheating one in the full bloom. All right. Um, released release sleep inducing spores when eating a moon shroom. Okay. Uh, mushrooms planted in a mushroom planter produce a high, higher yield. Learn to craft uh, whatever syrup into uh, to induce pooping in other creatures. This actually doesn't really help much because you can actually take the uh, were pig and just feed him a bunch of light bulbs. So that is interesting, but whatever. Mushroom planted in a mushroom planter grows much faster. Okay. Mushrooms planted in a mushroom planter grow a little faster. Butterflies will no longer fly away from you. Wow. I actually like that. That's really cool. Okay. That means you can farm butterflies. Uh, sacrifice health to craft lunar saplings. Sacrifice health to craft berry bushes. Oh. Sacrifice health to craft monkey tails. This has nothing in it. <laughs> this has nothing in it. Uh, okay. I'm, well, we can see the picture. This looks like a... Um, what does that look like? You know what that looks like. It's a... Uh, the thing that makes the leafy meat. Anyways, the bulb. And then this looks like, let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, a bouquet of flowers? Oh, no, those are juicy berry bushes. Oh, cool. Okay. So berry bushes and then juicy berry bushes. Um, and then we got summon vines to join the fray while attacking with bright shade weapons. Oh, so you have the ability. Seize foes and keep them rooted in place while wearing bright shade armor. So it's really funny that looks like you can only so we can only attune to the lunar, which makes sense because Wormwood is from the moon, right? Yeah, so it looks like you can only that makes perfect sense too. All right, so pretty cool. I mean, you know what? It's not as crazy as Woody, but Wormwood is already a great character as it is. I mean, this is like some pretty interesting stuff. Maybe I'm overlooking it, but it's more of like a little bit of a bonus added in. I like the idea that you can craft berry bushes and other things too, which is pretty interesting. Um, so that's pretty cool. And learn to craft whatever the syrup is to make things poop is pretty funny. Um, I mean, overall, like Wormwood is already a good character. So just adding anything to Wormwood really just makes it even better. But there you go. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next update.